Hello there once again, my name is Hollow Strife, and welcome to this hero profile guide on Damon Bird. I did want to do this video and my video for Lizzie Carmine much earlier, but when I have played both of these characters, I realised a lot of skills were not quite working as expected, or I knew a bunch of changes would be coming, and man am I glad I waited. But enough of this long introduction, let's cover the sarcastic genius. Damon Baird. Baird's role within Horde is to be an engineer, which is perfect as he has always been a Delta Squad impromptu mechanic in previous games. Let's cover his skill cards now. First up is Computer Nerd? Question mark? All weapon lockers replenish ammo faster. I don't need friends. Precision hits cause bleeding damage whilst Baird's ultimate is ready. Healing headshot. Precision kills heal all fortifications. Spin to win. All MG sentries do increased damage. And drone birthday party. Killing downed enemies deals damage to surrounding enemies. This is a setup I choose to use in most horde matches as Baird, but he does have other skill cards available, so I'll cover those too. Friend. Summoned DR1 causes bleeding damage. You can ignore the short range part of this card, it was recently removed with the most recent horde changes. Also if you choose to use this, use it in place of bloody support, as these two cards contradict each other. Special delivery. DB weapons cause extra damage to wounded enemies. Not a bad skill card if you prefer the M bar or use lots of shot grenades. Quantum Mechanics, increased team score. This is for those of you who are going for leaderboard ranking. The Duelist, self-explanatory, less damage taken when that chrome dome gets slapped about. Friendly Fireworks, increased damage with grenade tags. Tag grenades will do more damage, pairs well with experimental weapons when you use shot grenades. Under Pressure, repair faster when enemies are within 10 meters of you. Self-explanatory, use it only if you don't plan on making use of Precision Repair's skill card. Robo-Doctor, repair faster when doing long repairs. Again, don't use if you're going to make use of the Precision Repair's skill card. Spray and Pray, reduce recoil when using the Enforcer. If you prefer to use the Enforcer, then you can also use this skill card. It does have good synergy with Experimental Weaponry, but would be better used in escape. Rocket Man. Heavy weapon damage resistance. Works great against any heavy swarm or DB units, but when you start going into the higher difficulties, you'll still get put down just as quickly. Only use on lower difficulties, or if you have a gap in your cards. Lastly, Lucky Shot. Sniper shots reduce the cooldown of Baird's ultimate multiplicatively. This card is best used alongside Bloody DR1. Only use it if you plan on using Baird's ultimate as often as you can. We have the skill cards. Let's look at his perks. He doesn't have any. Moving on. <laughs> but really, instead of perks, Baird is an engineer, so I'll show on screen how much Baird can build each fortification for, as his passive plays into this anyway. He can build and upgrade fortifications for 10% cheaper than other players, which is the same as Dell. Now, let's cover Baird's ultimate ability, which is called... <laughs> I can't help but do this every single time for these ultimate abilities. Anyway, Baird will summon a DR1 unit wielding a tri shot that will taunt and attack enemies within a 10 meter radius. The DR1 lasts for 40 seconds and has a base cooldown of 5 minutes. Baird used to get a lot of more benefits from never using his ultimate, but now you can choose to summon your robotic elder brother or not, and make use of either of his bleed skill cards. I have done a full game making use of both of them, and they both now have a place in Baird's arsenal. In my opinion, bloody support is better in the earlier waves 
before enemies get too tanky. But bloody DR1 is good in later waves when you need some extra firepower and someone's tank for you. But who does Baird play well with? Since you are the engineer, your team will be relying on you to build a good base. And if you have Jack on your team, he'll be able to help you generate more energy for you to build even more. Other than that, Dell would also be a good partner for Baird. Use Dell as your team's engineer and have Baird be a sniper with his precision repair skill card equipped to get free repairs on Dell's cheap fortifications. It is an amazing combo but hard to pull off as teams with randoms will want either Baird or Dell. Try it in a private horde match with friends though. The last thing to cover before we leave this witty mastermind behind are the skins you have available for Baird. First up is Golden Brainiac, which is the one I choose to use. He has his youth back and it's shiny. What's not to love about it? You also have Damn Those Pesky Kids, Adam Phoenix Lookalike, and the Sexy 8 Ball. Thank you once again for watching my hero profile guide on Damon Baird. It does mean a lot when you make it this far through the video, so if you enjoyed this, hit that like button and subscribe to see when I next upload. Speaking of which, I will have another video going live tomorrow which will be covering all the changes the Coalition made to Horde Mode for Operation Free. I'm only making that one because it has affected some of the guides I've previously made as a lot of the information in those videos is now out of date, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. Like you've probably heard many times now though, stay indoors, stay safe, keep watching this space for my next upload, have an awesome day, and I will see you here next time. Bye-bye for now.